Hello, Blythe, Evie, Joe, Jack, Callum, Cadence, Lucy, Orion, and anyone else who's listening. Welcome to Storytime. Today's story is The Day You Begin, written by Jacqueline Woodson, illustrated by Rafael Lopez. The Day You Begin, Jacqueline Woodson, illustrated by Rafael Lopez. It says it's a Nancy Paulson book. And the dedication page says for Sia, Nell, and Josie, J.W., Jacqueline Woodson, to Santiago Moon Whisperer, Rafael Lopez, R.L. So the story begins. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you. Oh, look at the door. That looks like a a ruler. And look at the girl looking into the room. Hmm. Let's see what happens. Maybe it will be your skin, your clothes, or the curl of your hair. So she's not seeing anyone like her. She's beautiful, isn't she? There will be times when no one understands the way words curl from your mouth, the beautiful language of the country you left behind. My name is Rigoberto. We just moved here from Venezuela. And because they don't understand, the classroom will fill with laughter until the teacher quiets everyone. So Rigoberto comes from Venezuela, so he's speaking a little bit differently. Rigoberto, from Venezuela, your teacher says so soft and beautifully that your name and homeland sound like flowers blooming the first bright notes of a song. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Rigoberto from Venezuela. It does sound like a song, doesn't it? There will be times when the words don't come Your own voice, once huge, now smaller, when the teacher asks, what did you do last summer? Tell the class your story. We went to France, Chela says. These shells came from a beach in Maine. A boy named Jonathan holds out a jar filled with tiny shells so fragile they look like they'll turn to dust in your own untraveled hands. My whole family went to India, Spain, South Carolina, each souvenir a small triumph of a journey, their travels going on and on. And as you stand in front of that room, you can only remember how the heat waved as it lifted off the curb and your days spent at home caring for your little sister who made you laugh out loud and hugged you hard at nap time. You can only remember the books you kept on reading long after she had fallen to sleep. And in that room where no one else is quite like you, you'll look down at your own empty hands and wonder, What good is this when other students were flying and sailing and going somewhere? There will be times when the lunch your mother packed for you is too strange or too unfamiliar for others to love as you do. Oh, look, the table is a ruler too. And look at how she's holding on to her lunch. 
when even your own friend, Nadia, will wrinkle her nose and say, what's in there anyway? And you'll wonder how she doesn't see the rice beneath the meat and kimchi. You'll wonder why she doesn't remember that rice is the most popular food in the world. Look at the rice patties on the side. She's thinking about how rice is the most popular food in the world. There will be times when the climbing bars are too high. The run is too fast and far. The game isn't one you can ever really play. I don't want him on our team. You can watch. Maybe you can have a turn later. Oh boy, has that ever happened to you? Oh, look how the tree is a ruler too. Boy, Rafael Lopez really does some fabulous illustrations. There will be times when the world feels like a place that you're standing all the way outside of. Oh, look at how he's looking over his shoulder at everyone playing in the schoolyard. And he feels like he's standing just all the way outside of it. See, there's all kinds of plants and flowers, but where he's standing, there's hardly anything at all. And all that stands beside you is your own brave self steady as steel and ready, even though you don't yet know what you're ready for. Look at how he's looking down at his reflection in the water. And the reflection is actually reading out loud. So he's looking for his own brave self. And all of you have your own brave self inside of you. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you until the day you begin to share your stories. My name is Angelina and I spent my whole summer with my little sister. You tell the class, your voice stronger than it was a minute ago, reading books and telling stories. And even though we were right on our block, it was like we got to go everywhere. Oh, look at how they're flying through the sky with the birds and they're going to other places where there's a whale, other countries, mountains, all different kinds of plants. That's what it's like when we read, isn't it? Your name is like my sister's, Rigoberto says. Her name is Angelina, too. And all at once, in the room, where no one else is quite like you, the world opens itself up a little wider to make some space for you. This is the day you begin to find the places inside your laughter and your lunches, your books, your travels, and your stories, where every new friend has something a little like you and something else so fabulously not quite like you at all. Isn't that wonderful? That we have friends that have something a little like us, but then something not like us at all. So we get to learn new things from each other. Look at how they're swinging the birds. Look at that grasshopper. And that is the end. Look at them all laying in the leaves with the birds looking down from the branches at them. Oh, that's a beautiful illustration. I hope you really like this book. I love this book. This is about Jacqueline Woodson, who wrote this book, and she's gotten a lot of awards. And at the bottom, 
There's her website, so you could look that up if you wanted to learn more about her. I've looked it up, and she really is amazing. And then this is Rafael Lopez, the man who illustrated the book, and he's won a lot of awards, too, and he has a, a website, too, that you can go to and look at, at other drawings he's done. These are all the books that picture books that Jacqueline Woodson has done and we'll be reading more of these on another story time. So tomorrow we will be reading We Are in a Book. It's another elephant and piggy book by Mo Willems. It's fun too. Um, keep looking after yourselves, keep loving on each other, and always, always love yourselves just the way you are. And never forget, I love each one of you to the moon and back. We'll be back tomorrow for story time when we read We Are in a Book, written and illustrated by Mo Willems. Bye-bye.